Hi, I'm Angela, and this is me making sense of myself. And right now I'm answering the question, how did I get through a conflict? Oh, wow. Um, okay, this is going to... Yes, uh, sometimes I think I try to ignore it. Like, I pretend that it doesn't exist for a little bit, but then there comes a point where I can no longer pretend. Um, so... I'm going to tell you about a funny story uh, with my sister, who was my roommate at the time, and we had a little conflict over a coffee machine, and I had told her, I was like, hey, I think I think this is breaking, and then she was like, oh, okay, but no more conversation, and then, like, the next day, there was a delivery of a coffee machine, and I was so mad. I was like, why am I angry about a coffee machine? And I was, um, so I actually sat in meditation and I pondered. And in that moment, it was because we didn't really talk about what kind of coffee machine that we wanted to have in the house. And I was, um, I was like really sad and angry and I went to her because I, I wanted to like kick the co the box. Like it was, it was so funny when I felt the feeling come up and I was like, Ooh, I don't like this. So uh, I went to her and I, and I told her, I was like, Hey, that's really cool that you did this. And I really wish that we could have talked about it because I think there's probably a machine that would work for both of us so that I could have what I needed and she could have what she needed. And she was like, Oh, well, that's fair you know, um, and we figured out a machine that would work for both of us. Um, I don't, the funny thing is I don't think either of us were completely 100% happy with this machine. Um, and yet it still worked for, for what we needed it to work for. So something that I did specifically was meditating and then calmly going and talking to her. So uh, I would love to know, how do you get through your conflicts?